Hello there, this is Thomas Tarot here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Y'all, I woke up with the nicest song in my head, and all I heard is, Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? I was like, ooh, I want to love you and treat you right. I was like, okay, whose energy in the collective am I picking up on? That was so funny. I was like, I literally woke up with a smile on my face. I was like, dang, someone is in their feelings. Somebody here, they feel a lot and they're wondering if it's love, okay? <laughs> In a nutshell, is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? I was like, oh man, that's Bob Marley right there. Okay, so someone is feeling something and i feel they they feel all these feelings i'm just seeing a very colorful palette um in someone's aura and they they're wondering if this is if this is real love like is this what i'm feeling like do i why like i just see somebody kind of mm, i don't know how to describe it but this is someone wondering if this is what it is to be in love this could be a new person. This could be someone you already know. But we're going to get a vibe. This could even be you, okay? Give me one second. <laughs> well, up close and personal with me today. Yeah, my stand was a little crooked, so I had to fix it. <sighs> very chill too i don't know if somebody here you know smoked a little something something but <laughs> i feel that too it's kind of weird i don't know how to explain this guys maybe we have i mean i know who isn't a bob marley fan right but this feels like maybe someone's high on love i don't know y'all but we're gonna find out okay let's see Oh, okay. They want me to read all the lyrics. All right. I did I did pull it up. I want to love you and treat you right every day and every night. We'll be together with the roof right over our heads. <laughs> we'll share the shelter of my single bed. Oh, wow. That's interesting. We'll share the same room. Yeah, for job, provide the bread. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Um... I want to know, I want to know now. Mm, 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 mm. I'm willing and able, so I throw my cards on your table. I want to love you. I want to love you and treat you right. Every day and every night we'll be together. That's basically what this song is saying, y'all. <laughs> this is someone who's willing and able, so they will throw their cards on your table. Well, let's throw the cards on the table and find out, right? <laughs> Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Interesting. Interesting. This could be a female feeling this way. This could also be a male feeling this way. Um, I'm feeling a very romantic energy here off of this energy. You see all the red? This person looks like they're wearing a rose behind them. Behind them. Um, this person's very nervous to make this approach. This person could be writing how they feel. I also feel the divine. If someone here had a had a spiritual lesson they processed. Um, and I feel it's almost like, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting the energy of someone writing something. But there is a looming energy around them that is helping them write this okay so we have the king of wands which is usually an energy of a pursuer so this could be a woman in pursuit or a man in pursuit okay with a hierophant look at that owl <laughs> and that little girl in the tree and the owl is like teaching her something right i really feel when i think of owl energies they're very wise souls 
So there could be someone um, more mature than this person kind of talking to them or giving them downloads, okay? This could even be like an ancestor. Yes, it would make sense. Um, even my ancestors are Jamaican, so that makes sense. Okay, that's probably why I got that song. Anyway, y'all, this is something written. With the Nine of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles, I feel whatever this person is saying or attempting to do, it's from a grounded, honest place. But I feel this person's very nervous about this approach. Hence this little helper here, helping them, okay? This could also be a masculine um, feeling his feelings when when it's depicted as a woman a king depicted as a woman is someone who is more in their feminine side as well like maybe they're getting more in tune with their feelings this could also be a fire sign or a taurus temperance wow and the ten of wands this person is feeling a lot they haven't shared properly i'm hearing we have the temperance angel which is always a card of balancing things out maybe even emotionally the way this image is depicted by this girl holding doves of which one is taking flight i get a vibe of somebody here having held on to a lot of things they didn't say express or truly illustrate for someone i feel like this has to do with a presentation of a sort somebody here wants to present something to a person and they've held on like to me looking at all these roses this person is carrying on their back it's all the gestures they wanted to do but didn't it's all the feelings they maybe wanted to express but couldn't it's all of the kind sweet things because she's plucking roses at the end of the day i feel like this person carried so much maybe even emotionally that they're not used to expressing sagittarius energy nine of pentacles and the fool this person would in ways expressing themselves in this way give me a second sorry y'all someone was on their phone <clears throat> on speaker <laughs> um as i was saying either the person they're approaching is very independent or they themselves would have to enter this state of security and independence in the self to do this. Because we have the Fool card, which is a leap of faith, taking a chance on something. I'm hearing it's very nerve-wracking. Now, the reason for that is maybe because whoever they're approaching is in the Nine of Pentacles. This could be a very single, independent person. All right, Nine of Pentacles is security in the self, whether financially, emotionally, mentally. There's, it's a balanced person who comes off as though they don't really need anyone with a fool that's a chance somebody's willing to take with a magician yes this is something they're kind of manifesting for themselves or the opportunity to do this is manifesting or it's here there's a very graceful energy here as well very graceful i feel whoever they're approaching is quite stable and there's some kind of grace that i'm feeling okay maybe someone here likes to dress up very very uh elegant even there's something about elegance here like the way she's dressed and the way this person has that ribbon it almost looks a little old school somebody here might dress a little old school That card is back, the Ten of Wands. Wow, we have the Emperor. For some of you, this could also be a same-sex relationship, okay? Just saying. I'm not gender-specific in my readings, but I keep seeing, like, masculine females here, okay? Maybe that's also why someone is a little intimidating, because it's the kind of... If this is a man approaching a woman, it's the kind of woman that is very self-sufficient. Maybe this person owns their own business, Okay? Or they're very independent or they have some kind of an important role in what they do 
Wow. There's a cycle closing out of this person holding all of this energy back, okay? I don't even care if this is someone <laughs> who has been watching you, maybe even a friend who's been into you or someone you already know that feels so much and they've kept it hidden for so long. Um, the fact that they've kept it hidden has a lot to do with maybe certain toxic patterns they were taught as a child. Because I get this energy of fear of vulnerability here. But this person's passion um, is insane. Like, it's, it's an, a... Oof. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> this person... Like, what I'm feeling is so... Mm, it's mm, I can't y'all I don't know what this is this energy is very interesting it has me kind of loopy here okay we have the world and the high priestess and the same ten of wands this person is about to burst because the ten of wands is resetting to an ace of wands paired with the goat man now I feel this energy of this person can't detach from the way they're feeling. They can't detach. It's also an insane amount of passion. Something here feels kind of insatiable. Like, it's like they can't get enough of a person. They think about this person all the time. For some of you, this person is a source of inspiration for what they do in many things. Hobbies, work talents <clears throat> but this person hit it for so long we have the high priestess it's kind of like not only is their intuition telling them something about this maybe they're dealing with the high priestess as well pisces energy here capricorn aquarius taurus scorpio and leo in the world well actually i wanted to say I th no, that's usually what I say when I see a Wheel of Fortune. So this could be like a Wheel of Fortune energy. Yes. It's like something that is fated to kick off here. Someone here... I'm seeing... You know how this, this world, this globe looks like a map? For some of you, these two people are from completely different worlds, backgrounds. I see her holding one globe here, this here, and her dress. But it's like they're so distant from each other. It's like their worlds are very, very different. This is someone who harbors a lot, but it's about to burst and they can't help themselves. This person is almost kind of like their energy, holding on to all of this that they feel, all this passion, all this adoration, admiration. It's like it has to go somewhere. And I feel like this story is basically illustrating to me how it will burst and go to something new. Wait, Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. What's at the bottom? The Emperor. Yeah. It's the same energy of the, the fact that this cycle is closing out will help this person step up in some way. It almost requires a sense of maturity of them to even do this. But it's like if they harbor and hold on to all of this love, admiration, adoration, I feel like this person wants to do things. You know when you have a passion and you need an outlet? Like let's just say, you know when some people, maybe they see a lot of things in their head, right? And then they start drawing it, then they start painting it, they start painting and doing things that they see. You know, a lot of very wise people are like geniuses in this world who think so many things at night and then they start writing it because they have to get it out. Like, that's what it feels like here. And I feel like this is love. 
Maybe this person had love and passion mixed up because I'm seeing a lot of like wands here. They had a poor relationship with love in their life, a very poor relationship with love. They don't understand love. For some of you, this person was never loved properly with the devil here and all these wands. This person maybe always equated love to like pain, burden, toxicity. Um, but there's something new growing from all of this, okay? There's something new growing from all of what they've harbored over time. For some of you, this could just be like a friend or someone that you know behaves or suppresses in this manner. It's a suppression. Two of Swords. They've been in two minds about this. They've been in two minds about what they feel. For some of you, they... There's another thing that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing... They're not dandelions. They're... When I see this plant, it immediately makes me think of a weed killer that they have on the market and they teach people to like kill the weeds in your yard when really that plant is very good for you. I don't know if you guys know what plant I'm talking about. If there's a, mm, let me look it up because I don't know why I got that, but that helps against heart failure. If you drink that tea from that plant and they've taught people, yeah, I don't know why it came through. Maybe somebody here always thought that something was bad for them when really it's actually good for them. Um, it's that plant is on many weed killers okay like think of roundup this plant roundup for lawns do you see this plant i don't remember what it's called it's actually very good for people i'm seeing the same plant in the back in the background here someone here has always been in two minds about something that is actually good for them Maybe they were thought that that was bad. Like, I got to get rid of that. Maybe I got to get rid of these feelings. Maybe I got to get rid of how I feel. But it's good for them. For some of you, this love, this person is actually very good for their health. Not just like spiritual health, but I feel physical health. Like, they go hand in hand. There's a huge ease that I'm feeling in this reading. It just feels so easy and smooth. But they've been in two minds about this for such a long time to a point where everything that they felt they suppressed so much, it's about to burst. And this person thinks about this situation, I feel night and day because it, it needs an outlet. This could have also been an incredibly stubborn person Maybe they were blindfolded to the things that are actually good for them or they were in denial of these feelings. Again, I feel denial to a source is denial. I, they, they think that this is maybe just lust or just an infatuation or just this crush or just an obsession that they got to shake. No, I'm hearing no. Wow, this is a pretty deep, y'all. Four of swords. This is something like, I feel like they... Uh, rested on this you know they took a snooze on this they paused they're in a state of reflecting for some of you healing because this is a healing card maybe this person could have been ill in some way for me to mention um, that plant that helps with heart failure or heart diseases or anything really that plant is really good for the human vessel and what's so funny is they taught people to Maybe it is a dandelion. It says kills grab grass, dandelion, clover, yellow nut sedge. Kills weeds, not lawns. It's all the flowers that are good for you. Do you see that? Someone found this out that that yellow plant is actually very good if you take it with your tea. 
Interesting. Ten of freaking pentacles. This person can see a future with whoever they're thinking about. And this is a pretty old soul. They just don't know what love is. So they're like, is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Yes, they have. When I mean they envision everything. This looks like the tree stump. You see them, the, you see the synchronicities? This here is a tree stump on their head top. And this is what is inside of it, the future. This person envisions with whoever they're feeling this much for. The Three of Wands is expecting something to come in, expecting a ship to come in. You see how she's looking out. It's like, I see everything with this person. This person sees a lot of abundance with whoever this is, um, a stable future. That's what the song says too, with a roof right over our heads. For some of you, it's not necessarily about the finances. For some, this person sees them building an empire together. But I'm getting also strongly, um, this person would be okay with not having much. Because even in the song, it was like on my single bed. <laughs> like, it's just you and me on my single bed. This person would be happy regardless, okay? This is, wow. Very special here. Justice. Wow. Um, this person is seeking balance in their life. Maybe they're seeking justice in their life for some of you. This is their justice. Moving in this energy, making this change would balance out their life greatly. I feel the divine is, is, is assisting this. This will balance the skills again. So there was an imbalance. Maybe there was injustice. With the hanged man, this person was stagnant in some way, shape, or form, but that stagnancy aided to them looking at life in a very different way. But again, that they keep coming back to that one person. Tell me a little bit more about that. Knight of coins. Yes. We have the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. It would require one coin. This is an action. This is a gesture. But this person moves slow, very methodical about their approach. They don't like to rush things. Again, these top hats. This person could be incredibly old school. I see almost somebody getting dressed up for something like they look so elegant, graceful, handsome. I just sharp because this will be like the epitome of doing what they've built up to do for so long. We have the emperor again. For some of you, I could be speaking about a same sex relationship for others of you. This could be a man in touch with his feminine side where it's his feelings he's honoring, okay? Wow. This feels very important. The magician, yes. Yes, look here. For some of you, this could, this could go hand in hand with a reading I did where I had two emperors show its face. We had the female emperor and we had the male emperor. That's why I'm telling you my gender, my readings are never gender specific because Either sex can embody that energy. And this is what I mean with the grace in a man or a woman. It's just graceful. It's very, it's like moving with this, with like moving through integrity here. This person is honoring themselves, what they know, what they feel. But they want to show up correct. Now, if this goes well, this is someone executing something they've manifested in their life. We have the magician. This is having all the tools. They have the tools. They have the universe on their side. Um, they do. An 
Emperor is kind of the energy of all four kings in the deck, which is the discernment, the decision making of a king of swords, the intelligence, um, the fire, the motivation, the drive, being a visionary leader, king of wands, king of pentacles, which is stable, responsible, reliable, king of cups, which is in tune with one's emotions, finding the balance between, you know, tempering that has everything to do with balance. I have justice, I have the temperance angel. This person has been in their head about the future and doing this and making this offer for a very long time. I'm seeing the two of swords touching the future, the ten of pentacles. This person probably wants a family or something they can be proud of. I don't know why, but I'm getting this energy of someone here. It almost looks like this looks like a hotel. So I don't know if somebody here works in the tour in the tourism industry or whether they own restaurants hotels um, maybe this is something they envision right maybe they want to run their own restaurant or own their own hotel or do big things like this is someone who has the vision to do big things i see a dog and i'm seeing two children here or is that a cat Looks like a wiener dog. <laughs> this looks like a chubby little wiener dog, like a dash hound. Anyway, death. To the star. For some of you, this person um, was or is ill in some ways with um, all the flowers here where the organs belong. I was talking about that with the star. You know when um you know when you have like I, I heard my dying wish you know when you have people who are ill and they make a wish like if there's anything if there's for some of this person prayed for this like if there's anything i want in this life is this to experience this to do this something here might have felt like a dying wish maybe somebody here had a near-death experience or and you know nde they call it but I see death and I see the star, which is about wishes um, being granted. I'm hearing this is something like a dying wish. It's like, yes, I'm getting that energy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like this person is dying, y'all. But that's what I heard in my dying wish. Like that's, some, like that's like the energy of something you really want. Like... If there's something I really want to experience in this life, is this. Wow. This is love. You can't tell me otherwise, y'all. This is beautiful. This person has changed profoundly on a soul level, or that's what's occurring here. Scorpio energy with Aquarius. The star. This is a manifestation. This is what they want to build. Okay. Two of Wands. Yeah, you see this person holding the globe? Worlds apart. Somebody here could look up the song Worlds Apart by Bruce Springsteen. I feel like that the words in there could be relevant. I'm gonna... <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I always do this. Um, worlds Hearts, Bruce. I heard the intro of the song in my head when I saw that. <clears throat> One second, y'all. <clears throat> I hold you in my arms. Yeah, that's when it starts. I seek faith in your kiss and comfort in your heart. Taste the seed upon your lips. Lay my tongue upon your scars. When I look into your eyes and we stand worlds apart. Where the distant oceans sing and the rise to the plains. In this dry and troubled country, your beauty remains. Wow. 
down from down from the mountain roads where the highway rolls to dark beneath Allah's blessed reign we remain worlds apart sometimes the truth just ain't enough or is it too much in times like this let's throw the truth away we'll find it in this kiss in your skin upon my skin in the beating of our hearts may the living let us in before the dead tear us apart wow We'll let blood build a bridge over mountains draped in stars. I'll meet you on the ridge between these worlds apart. We've got, look at my chills, y'all. We've got this moment now to live. Then it's all just dust and dark. I'm telling you, this is someone's like ultimate wish. We've got this moment now to live. Then it's all just dust and dark. Let love give when it gives. I can't make it up. Let's let love give what it gives. This is someone who has to let love give what it gives. They need to give. Like, let love give what it gives. They need to give these roses. They need to give, they need to say these words. They need to do all the things that they've been harboring. This is a stunning song. That's from one of my um, father's favorite albums. So I heard the song like in the beginning. It was la da 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 and la da da da, something like that. And I heard it. I was like, that's the song, Worlds Apart. Wow, unbelievable. The Two of Wands. You see, this person, this is also a decision making card, but this person's vision was too clouded. Um, this person could have been stubborn or. They just, they were asleep, y'all. But now, this is with the two of wands. This person is at that crossroads again, but making an informed decision from a more grounded place. The overall energy is the temperance angel. This person could be getting divine assistance with this. Okay, it's giving, you know, wow. That's why I pointed out that owl in the Hierophant card with the Ten of Swords. This is someone, I don't know why, but maybe this person with the Ten of Swords feels like this would be an ending to a very tough cycle in their life, or this person is going to get scrutinized or plucked apart about this. You see how this woman is so sad with all these pins and needles that other people are sticking into her hair. It's like this, this there, 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 there could be a lot of people who go against the way this person feels or the actions this person has been dying to take like it feels like like that's my dying wish like this is wow 10 10 y'all this is completing a huge fundamental cycle in their life with the two of wands this is someone who all they see is the future now they don't even want to get back in the house like they're just on top of the roof envisioning grasping this new world for them it's gonna be i have three tens now we have the ten of pentacles ten of wands and the ten of swords my goodness yes for some of you with a two of pentacles, this person could have been juggling, making like it's like a juggling act, balancing themselves between two worlds. I feel like this is someone who's worlds apart. So that doesn't necessarily have to mean physical distance. For some of you, it is. But what I mean with this is they come from two, com they're not cut from the same cloth. Like one person is this way. For some of you, there's a cultural difference here. Um, there's something about this person doing a juggling act, trying to be two different people at once, and it doesn't work, okay? It really doesn't. This person has been doing it gracefully for a while, or so they thought, but they're unstable in this way. This is someone who, it the choice is, I feel, a difficult one to make, but they're not blindfolded anymore. That's the difference now that they're here. They're not blindfolded anymore. They have a very clear vision of what could be. And when I mean this is this person's dying wish, this person went through some kind of a, oof, the emperor judgment. This person's under judgment. Judgment is also the final call. The judgment call is also now or never. The judgment is the universal pressure alarm clock to make a, a decision. I feel like the universe is calling the shots in terms of the energy or the sense of urgency in making a decision. This is a free will based decision that this person is making. This person um, is probably a very important person or whoever they're dealing with is a very important person. I also see them having a lot of respect for 
whoever they want to be with. You see, I'm looking at this like, this is someone who's doing their own thing. And this is this person longingly looking at this individual and envisioning all that they could be together. That's what I'm seeing. And look at that little wiener dog in the shadow. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know if y'all could see it. Maybe somebody here um, loves wiener dogs. I used to grow up with two when I was a kid. Specky. <laughs> Speck is bacon in Dutch. <laughs> So I used to call him Specky. It was so cute. Yeah, this poor Specky ran away. Anyways, um, this is um very nice. This is a very nice, sweet, um, soothing, balanced energy, y'all. I don't know what this is. This is very special. This is a very grounded, um, easy person. They don't uh want any cake. Like they they just want a peaceful life, y'all. This is really like I just want to. Mm. Yes. I feel like both people are seasoned in some way. They don't have to look older. Uh, for some of you, they are. But I get a vibe of just very, like, mature. You see, I'm looking at this woman, how, how long her braids are. And I'm looking at this man, at how long his beard is. Okay, so they're both old souls to me. That's what it is saying. They're both old souls. Look how long his beard is. Wow, beautiful, beautiful reading. I, mm, I ain't got many words for this one. Yeah. I don't. Other people could also be under judgment right now. Okay. I want to um, get more on this person's energy. How do they feel? What would they say if they could? I want to move in together. Didn't I say something about that empire, that establishment? This person is thinking about stability in a union. They want to move in with someone. First card out. Okay. <laughs> they want somebody to submit and just say yes. <laughs> like, that's what I'm feeling, y'all. This is interesting. They just, they don't want any fusses. Ding, ding, confirmation. They don't want any fuss and fights. Yeah. They just want somebody to say yes. Wow. And if this is a new person, they just see that. They see a life, okay? Because I'm not I don't think they're just gonna be like a stranger's gonna be like, hey, do you wanna move in? No, I feel like this is someone who either not either they either they've never confessed their feelings and or they've never expressed and did certain gestures for a long time that go hand in hand with how deeply they feel okay that's what i'm feeling that could be a friend that they see every single day but they never have the cojones to just say hey can i ask you out because they see all of this in their head already ding ding confirmation okay wow i feel trapped in my situation in the reverse this person um isn't in two minds anymore okay they're not in two minds anymore um before they were for some of you Maybe there were certain restrictions or obligations that hindered this person from seeing this future. Two of Swords. Okay. Wow. You're my best friend. Mm. Yeah, I remember how I mentioned friend. This person sees this as a life partner. This is not, oh, I'm going to have a good time with you. No, this person ha is so... When I mean this, their energy is very tasteful. This person is very, like, interesting. I don't know how to... You know when you just meet some people and they have a very interesting look to them or they have a very interesting way of thinking or they're very... This almost feels like an Albert Einstein mother lover. Like, just very... You're weird, but it's dope. You know, that's what it feels like. This is a very interesting character. I don't know how to place it, but they're... It's the kind of person that would probably like, for some, if they express their, their quirkiness in how they dress, they would just pull out with like a, a bright yellow suit or something. And you're just like, or mustard. And it's like, it works. Or, you know, very interesting, a very interesting person. For some years, their taste in music. Or there's something about this person that is like very distinct. I'm also getting somebody who is like very youthful for their age or 
very mature for their age. I don't know. Int yeah, man, they love this person. If they have to wonder if this is love, yes, and it's unconditional. I keep hearing a song. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Wow. For some of you, they want to hold off on sexual energy in the beginning. They're not rushing this, okay? I have the card in the reverse. It says I have some big decisions to make. Decisions been made, y'all. The decisions been made. <clears throat> They're just looking at the future now. This was them. I told you before with a, with a tree stump of a hat. They're not, they're not questioning it anymore. And for some of you, this is the road to them getting here. So this could be at any given point in your timeline, okay? Your confidence in sex appeal turns me on. I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. The, the person that they're approaching is a powerhouse in their own way. It's not a, you know... Oh, no, the, the who they're approaching is a powerhouse in their own way, and that makes them hot, okay? But whatever this is, y'all, this is someone who wants to go about this the right way, and they're not going to rush, despite them obviously being very attracted to you. And with the devil to the ace of wands, we'll see how long that'll last for you, too. Okay, <laughs> this person's watching their prey. Yeah, let me get one more and then I'll probably swap decks. I miss you more than I'd like to admit. So for some of you, you're not speaking to this person or you're not really in close proximity of them or there's just something. This is, that's what I'm telling you. These are like the things they never said and the words they don't type. This person is just like, I mean, staring out the car window, just like imagining everything. Um, this is somebody who hasn't done something or who hasn't like acted on these feelings and when I mean this is look this is what they're doing and this is what they're thinking about I can't make it up you are my peace and I'm in my safe space what did I tell you about this person wanting peace this is not somebody who wants to like well obviously they enjoy having fun but I don't see this person being a reckless individual they're very yeah, they're coming towards it. I feel it. The energy is coming towards this. Okay, this is not someone who's in their head anymore. So this is a, a great milestone if, if in your connection this person um, has certain issues here. For some of you, y'all were just too different or your lives were at, like completely different. Like this person was very narrow-minded in their approach before, okay? Not anymore. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. What is that about? This could be the one. Bingo. So with unrequited, what was unrequited? It's not that there's not chemistry, but there was something that was imbalanced. That's why justice came out. That's why when something is unrequited, it's like, one person is giving too much to the situation or the other not enough. Okay, that's what made it unrequited. All right. It's like, maybe for some of you, what made it unattractive before is the fact that this person didn't do anything or didn't say anything. And I find it so interesting because look at all the roses this person wanted to give but didn't. You understand? So it's like, they shot themselves in the foot in a way because it's like i'm not going to do what i feel to do i'm not going to say what i would really want to get off my chest harboring harboring suppressing suppressing i'm not going to do the things this person refused to do things they actually really 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 deeply wanted to so they kind of secured an unrequited situation to a point where the person they actually love and admire and adore so deeply was uninterested because if you're doing that to a secure person, the secure person is going to be like, well, mm, this is meek. This is the bare minimum. This is, you understand? And, and what's so funny is this could be the one because it says you already met the romantic partner you seek. You already met the life partner. But 
you being this way cause for an, an breeding an unrequited environment. So it's like this person is not going to be attracted to that treatment. You understand? Which is like, and that has a lot to do with the closed mindedness. This card is all about a love life being influenced either by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. It being in the reverse, this person rejected broadening their mind. You see how I, I describe somebody who's like a genius? For some of you, they're very smart in certain areas, but when it comes to spirituality or connecting with their spirit versus giving into everything their mind is trying to calculate or do or think, it's like they didn't have that connection. They they weren't. That's why the, the, the two of swords is like short-sightedness or a, a indecisive energy or a very stubborn outlook or a very narrow mind. You see how small this peephole is? Now, this person went from that to this. Do you see the difference? Now it's like, wow, I could do this, or wow, we could be this, and wow. It's like they, they, they came out of their little hole to really see that this could be so much more than what they thought it was, okay? I really hope you guys can understand what I'm getting, what I'm getting at here. It's like they were unrequited, behaving unrequited, or behaving imbalanced with the one. Yeah, as I say, the one, look what shot out. Soulmate. This is a soulmate. I felt it from the minute I started reading. Yeah, soulmate and separation. Damn. This is, a, this is a very beautiful love. Pay attention to the red flags came in the reverse. The signs are cautioning you in the reverse. It's like green light. This person was too cautious. This person probably was trying to look for the red flags and everything. Like, no, that is definitely a red flag. Or no, that is definitely... It's very short-sighted. When they feel all these feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There are no red flags. Stop looking or making them up. Like, I, I really feel that, y'all. This person feels so much, like... I don't know what kind of love this is, brother, but it's the kind of love where, like, this is me right now. <laughs> this is me. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is this? Because even though it's not in front of me, I feel it. I read it. It smells so good. You know, I always say I can smell something funny in this reading. I can smell. Yes. Like, um, it's funny because I, I called myself, like, a, a spiritual bloodhound at some point because I don't need cards to, to smell um, an energy and I don't literally smell something but like I feel it um, my intuition picks up on its scent and um, it's so crazy but like there was a location and somebody had asked me to come out and check it out because they they know the energy there was bad y'all my nose was like and I was searching through the place and then my head said, you missed a spot, you missed a spot. I'm like, hmm? And then something told me to look underneath a closet or something. There was witchcraft there. That's why when I say I smell something, it's because I feel it. I sense it. Um, I didn't touch it, but I pointed it out. It was like, there's something under there. And when they pulled it out, lo and behold, someone was hexing the location. Okay, so that's when I say when I smell things, it's like I sense it, I feel it. Um, this love is very, very, very nice. These two have the potential to like do amazing things together, but also for it to last. And that's all this person wants is for it to last, y'all. They're decided. They're decided. It's decided. So whatever this means for you, when you stumble upon this reading... Um, when it when it comes to you, when this moment comes, congratulations. Passion. <laughs> Talk about. Hey, no chemistry. Maybe that's what they tried to say. Like, there's no way there, this person is attracted to me. Maybe there's no chemistry here. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally and having fun. These two. This this could be like a twin flame for sure. This could be like 
two fire signs, which dang, um, this could be, um, doesn't matter, like fire, water, air, earth, it's all here, but like, mm, this is what I'm talking about, this is why it would last, and it's not on a physical level only, it's on a soul level, maybe these two just have a great old time all the time, there's something about these two, I can't put my finger on it, but it's like, and even in old age, these two would have such an amazing time. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. This person wants to make memories with this person. There's also an energy of some excitement here, but it's like dormant. It's like a resting excitement. It's in this Ace of Wands. Like when this kicks off, this, this person will be incredibly excited, like very excited. Okay, but it's like a sleep. It's like a silent excitement. That's what I'm feeling. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So I'm saying these two will have such a great time. Um, wow, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. I wonder why. Talking. For some of you, they want to talk about something that broke their heart, they want to talk about something that upset them, whether with you or outside of the situation entirely, okay? And I feel like this will be a beautiful way to balance the skills from such a, a sad, like there's such a sad, like that's why I say the excitement is dormant because it has yet to be awakened. You know when there's a lot of grief, heartbreak, sadness, and loss, but it's like this 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 chemistry this enjoyment this this bliss is dormant i see a conversation here between two people about things that make them sad whether exchanging it about the connection itself or outside of the connection it's giving me this person needs their friend right it's like i see them having a very good base in the way it's platonic and that's why the passion and the, the this enjoyment is dormant. But it's not going to be dormant for long, okay? This is really like hashing things out that are important to discuss here. And all of this is like to follow, all right? Very interesting. I want to get these cards. Oh, I have other cards that I can't. <laughs> I'll be here all day, y'all. <laughs> I'll be here all day. I would. This energy is amazing. Um, we have names. Energy alignment. Yes. Yes. I wonder if this person like thought about baby names for some of y'all. I don't know why I heard that. But when I mean energy alignment, that's what's happening in the temperance angel. It's like this person's energy being balanced out. Likely your energy being balanced out. With a mystery here. Jealousy in the reverse. Y'all are being protected. There's protection here and jealousy that came in the reverse. There is a lot of jealousy forming around what this is and likely what it's to become. But there's protection from it, which is always nice to know. Damn. This card came out yesterday. You're on the right path. This is a spiritual awakening. 1111 is a twin flame number as well. Being of service. So someone here, they're on the right path to be of service to others in some way, shape, or form with what they want to create, what they want to do. Um, this is why it's encouraged, okay? Because I feel like these two are going to do some very important things or amazing things, which is an energy I have before, all right? Wow, this feels so nice. Yes, songs. That's why I said... When I mean their heart needs an outlet, you see how it's tuning into like the frequency of songs. It's funny because I started off this reading with a song download. There's a lot of information that will come to you through songs. So when you hear a song in your head and you didn't hear it on the radio or it's not even like it, like it just came to you. For others of you, maybe, yeah, when you step in the car, that particular song is playing and it has meaning to you. Um, whatever it is, there's so much information coming through songs. Maybe this person loves to write songs someone here does this person talks about their painful experiences in what they write or or express in songs as well it's it's hurts them okay there is suffer they, they suffered here someone here was suffering in silence for some of you yeah because they're not expressing much here or they didn't do that before 
also getting this energy of someone wrote a song about a person and someone is incredibly jealous about that with intu intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware. That's what this person needed. It's almost like this person was missing this in ingredient to see things from a more expansive place, okay? Any last words? 444. Four, four. Your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. So I said, I, I said the word foundation a couple times, but this is something where it's like, 444 four, four to me is also divine protection, but look at the globe. Like this is a new a new life. This is a new world. It's like they're worlds apart, but they're creating one of their own. Okay. Beautiful. Dominance. Oh, this person could be stubborn. I always say this. I think of Taurus energy. Just a little stubborn, stubborn ass bull. And the hair is in its face. It can't see past its own nose. Okay. It's like, no, you need a little trim, bud. You need a trim. <laughs> you need a little trim there. He is so cute too, man. He's like, I love animals. I can't. <laughs> Shout out to someone who said that. Um, I need to create an animal deck. Okay, let me hurry up. Let me hurry my ass up. Let me get one last. Um, is this a deck? No, this is not it. <laughs> Y'all, there is a deck that is so important. Well, should I use this one and stuff? Where is it? I promise you. I wish I um, knew which decks I need to use before I start my reading so that I have them clutch, right? Like, on uh, hands on. Oh, here it is. Silly me. This is what I want to get. Very important. Okay. And then I'll leave it there. <clears throat> okay. Because I know this will take forever to upload later. <laughs> For reals hour-long readings youtube isn't my best friend in that case okay family kids opinions judgment resolve family stress and get support mm, for some of you family is a big thing here <clears throat> could have been a blockage deception mask illusion yes look beyond the superficial I feel like this is something where maybe the cultures are very different or a family is unaccepting of this. That's why it feels like they're from two completely different worlds. Vibration in the reverse. It's very For some of you, they're not a vibrational match anymore, okay? It's what I'm getting. Energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. So they were essentially surrounded by people who lowered their vibration to repel what they desire. Does that make sense? All right. Mm -hmm. They regret it, though. There's an energy of them like regretting having other people um, lower their vibration. Uh huh. Fifth dimension, intuitive communication. You are connected at a soul level. They're already together on a soul level, these two, for sure. My deck is all flip floppy around. Awakening, realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. Dang, where is it? big goals career business success claim your place in this world what did i say what did i say they have big dreams together y'all don't call it a dream call it a plan for some of you these two will have like a very successful brand online it's like a digital footprint of their success of a sorts Beliefs, similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. I was just saying these two are worlds apart. Look at the chills again, y'all. That song is so important. I will go look it up. Like this gives me like maybe one person could be Muslim. Someone else was raised Christian. I don't know what it is, y'all. But like there's something here about them being so different. But it's the unity between them that is going to like shift people's minds. I don't know. It just feels so good perception as i say shift people's minds this is insane red flags delusion perspective see through your own false beliefs this has a lot to do with how somebody was looking through that little peephole as a, as opposed to expanding their minds to what could be this is a white bird and that's a black bird so I mean, this is also a racial difference like yo i'm getting a lot of things y'all this is definitely a twin flame reading okay Damn, this is so nice. Winter. You feel out in the cold. 
well for some of you they say answers arrive in winter wherever you are in the world fresh start wow new opportunity release the past this is your second chance yin and yang darkness and light stay centered in your higher self this is the union this is the balance for that union okay so forever this is all right with denial in the reverse i can't make it up denial is a river in egypt <laughs> as i say okay this is good this is someone who is no longer looking from you know an illusionary perspective <sighs> yes repressed emotions rejection unable to see below the surface yeah it's in the reverse this is shifting this is a very good um, milestone towards these two coming together so um take it as it is y'all if this reading resonated for you please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye